Okay, welcome back guys. This is part two of the install Debian testing and configuration video and uh, we're in our desktop. As you can see the, the uh, resolution is still not correct. So we've got to do the first two things we need to do is get our video drivers installed for our NVIDIA card and also to get my Wi-Fi driver installed so I can disconnect the Ethernet cable as you can see all it shows is Ethernet so we're gonna have to do something about that so the first thing we're gonna do is open up a terminal and I will show you the easiest way in Debian hopefully this works as easily as it does in other Ubuntu distributions uh, in Debian they don't have a driver manager system so you have to work a little bit harder to get your get your uh, drivers installed so let's see I think I need general Linux and this 8812 and I um, don't want to open that I'm gonna open it with mouse pad okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that build essential and git is installed. I'm not going to uh, install Lin. Well, let me let me check something here because it'll be easier all the way around if I install headers. Okay, so I'm going to have to get in as root because my sudo sudoist file is not configured yet. So it's install Linux headers. Okay, Linux headers has no installation candidate. Okay, so let's do one other thing. In our NVIDIA if I go to Debian NVIDIA I'm gonna install NVIDIA detect Ah, uh, okay, I know what's going on. We need to go to Synaptic. Okay, so you, what you'll want to do is go to Synaptic, bring up your repositories, and I'm going to enlarge that a little bit. And do you see how the main sources don't have contrib and non-free? Okay, we're going to have to add that. So it's main contrib non-free. So we will get that added and then we're going to have to reload all right so let's see about Nvidia detect okay so now Nvidia detect is available <coughs> and we're going to see what's going on with Linux headers. So we have NVIDIA Detect now installed. Let's take a look at what it's going to tell us. 
tells me I have the 1050 Ti GeForce GTX that is correct and it's recommending that I install the NVIDIA driver package so if you have NVIDIA you want to find out which card you have and then it'll recommend a driver package so it's saying NVIDIA driver will give me the 375 30, 39 okay so I am going to install headers So we're getting our, our headers installed. And now we're going to install the NVIDIA driver package. Okay, and it's just telling me that the NVIDIA driver conflicts with the Nuvo, so it's suggesting that I reboot once the installation has finished. And hopefully once we reboot we will have at least our NVIDIA straightened out. And I've got the headers installed for this kernel, so my Wi-Fi driver should install, but I will have to wait until this is done. And as you can see, this is not as easy as it is within Arch or within Ubuntu. Debian, you have to really work at it. But if you do a little research online, you'll usually find all of the information that you need to be able to get it done and you can see that it's pulling in 375.39 which is the correct driver well I'm um, well, that looks like it's just about done let's reboot and get our graphics straightened out so I'm gonna reboot guys and I'll be right back with you Okay guys, well you can see that's a lot better. I'm going to clean up the icons on the desktop and uh, take it down to a 40. Take this down to 40 and get the removable devices. Okay, and that is the half the battle. We've got our, our NVIDIA. So if I pull up NVIDIA settings, you can see I have the 375.39. So we're 50% of the way there for our drivers. Okay, let's go to Synaptic. And let's open this up a little bit and let's do a search for real tech okay now here's firmware real tech binary firmware for real tech wired Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapters I'm gonna mark that for installation now you see the uh, RTL 8812 I have the 88 I need the 8812 so we're going to install that let's see now I have the 8812 AU DKMS installed and so this may be what I need so let's apply we'll get that installed and I believe we're going to have to reboot let's take a look okay one more time on the reboot guys I'll be right back with you 
Okay, welcome back guys. Now, I rebooted and it still wasn't working, so what I did is I went through this uh, git install procedure again, and it looks like it's actually working this time. So I just finished the make command. As you can see, it went through and did what it needed to do. And now I'm going to I don't need sudo so it's just gonna be make install and then I'm gonna mod probe the driver okay so now when I reboot I should have my networks my Wi-Fi working so one more time guys we're gonna reboot and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, welcome back. Let's see how we we did after our reboot. And there are all my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect. And we now have Wi-Fi. So I'm going to disconnect Ethernet. You can see I have my Wi-Fi network icon. And I am good to go. Okay, so let's do some icons and some theming. I am going to modify a sudo sudoers file so that we don't have to keep signing in as root. So I'm going to say leafpad etc sudoers now what you have to do just scroll down to where you see sudo and add your user and just duplicate what's there now there are other ways of doing this um, but this is the way that I use. Save. Close that out. And now, sudo will work. So I'm going to see if there are any updates or upgrades, and there are not. Okay, so I've got that up to date. Let's install some icons. Okay, so if you if you do a search in Synaptic, you'll find other icons. There's the breeze icon theme. There's lots of icons that you can install. The ones I usually use are the Fienza icons, and that's this right here. Now Mocha and Faba and Mocha. Let's go to Mocha. It's probably going to be pulled in with Faba, but we will see. Mocha icon theme. Okay, so we're going to install those. Apply. And this shouldn't take long. It's only a few icon themes. Now what we're going to do after that is we're going to pull in a few desktop themes like Numix or um, the Arc themes. And this is going to take a, a minute or two. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back with you. Okay, changes have been applied. So we have our icons. Now let's uh, just do a search for theme. 
and we should be able to, there's the arc theme so we will install that mark that for installation and I think the other one we wanted was new mix new mix theme and we will pull in the new mix icon theme and that is it so we'll apply that and we'll get those installed they usually pull in a little bit faster than the icon themes do So once this is done, we'll pull up the uh, changes are applied. Okay, we're going to close out Synaptic. And let's pull up our settings manager. Now before we do anything with the, the themes, which is under appearance, let's just go through and see what we ha what else we have to these are the things that I usually uh, will adjust so on workspaces I take it down to one I don't need multiple workspaces so we'll go back to settings now you can see up in the top right on the panel that the workspaces has been reduced to one I don't need that there so I'm gonna remove the workspace switcher and just clean things up a little bit. Now for window manager tweaks I put placement all the way to large at the center of the screen and I leave display compositing and I usually the opacity of windows during move this one here I usually take that in just about there and as you can see it gives me a little transparency when I'm moving a window and that's helpful if I need to see behind it to see uh, to see another window that's open. So we'll leave that alone. And power manager. I don't want notifications. I don't want to suspend. I don't want to use power management for my display. and I don't want to lock the screen. I don't mind using the screen saver but I don't want to lock the screen. And I'm not going to automatically lock the session so that goes to never. Okay and that's about it for now okay so we've got most of the settings done let's go to our let's go to our themes and you see we have numix and we should have our arc themes there they are so I happen to like numix so we'll pop that in for icons, I usually use Fienza Ambiance. For fonts, I'm going to enable anti aliasing, slight hinting, RGB, and 96. And I'm going to go Deja Vu Sands. Bold. Okay. You see what a difference that made? 
Now again, that's a personal preference, so you can tweak that and change it to whatever you want. Okay, now the next thing I usually do is I get rid of this panel at the bottom. So I'm going to eliminate panel two. And as you can see, it's gone. Then I'm going to go to panel one and I'm going to unlock it and just grab it and bring it down to the bottom. Then I'm going to relock it, close that out. Now this clock um, needs to be expanded a little bit. So what I'm going to do, S SD files in general Linux oh, I'm sorry time format I'm going to copy this configuration go to properties custom format paste that in and as you can see that's a little bit better it's, it's got the day, the date, and the time. Okay, now you have a choice. You can um, leave the panel at the top and put a, put a uh, dock at the bottom. Uh, so you could use plank or docky. That's entirely up to you. I like it simple with the uh, one panel. So what I'm going to do, some people like this uh, plain menu, but I'm going to change the configuration a little. Right click on that, go to properties. I'm going to get rid of the, the button title, and I'm going to move it to the other side. This way I have a choice of two different panels, or two different menus. Then I'm going to go to Panel Preferences, uh, Items, and I'm going to add an item, and hopefully the Whisker menu is here, and it is. So let's add that. Now you can see that it added it down the other end. I'm going to click, right click, move, bring it to the other side. Now I'm going to cl right click properties and I'm going to put a start menu icon and title and then I'm going to go to behavior switch categories by hovering position categories next to the panel button and display favorites by default and there we go. A lot better. So that is a basic desktop configuration. Now you can change your wallpaper so if you wanted to let's get a browser and we will go and do a search a Google search for Debian wallpaper. I want high def 1920 by 1080 resolution. And then you can find the one that you like. This is a nice one. View the image, right click, save image. It's going to go into my pictures folder. that's already downloaded so I'm going to close out the browser right click desktop settings folder other go to your pictures folder now what sometimes happens is that right now it's not linking up to grab my pictures folder 
So I'm going to cancel that. And I am going to right click. I'm going to copy that. And let's put that right in my home folder. Right there. Now, see desktop base and there's backgrounds. I could put it into the desktop base along with these. And in order to do that, you would that folder I believe is a root folder okay let's look for backgrounds might be a little easier okay so I'm gonna put it in here with the backgrounds so open another file window now it's probably not going to let me let me copy that See if I can. Now it will not let me because this is a root folder. The file manager is Thunar. So we're going to open up our terminal. GK sudo Thunar. Thunar will open. Go to File System, User, Share, Backgrounds, and I should be able to copy it out of here, copy, and put it in here. Okay, so now if I go to backgrounds, there it is. So since it's 1920 by 1080, which is my monitor size, I'm going to center it. And there it is. So that is it for Debian testing. Now, there would be uh, other things that I would normally do in the way of uh, system tray utilities and things like that uh, gaming I'm gonna do a part three and that'll finish up the rest of the configuration so guys uh, take a uh, keep your eyes open for part three it'll it'll be basically uh, system tray utilities and gaming and that sh then that should wrap it up so thank you guys for uh, stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care